And what I've actually had this like revelation about is, and what I think I might do now next semester, is it's not really about doing everything. It's not about getting involved in everything. Mm-hmm. I think I might even just drop everything hmm. and do something like this book, like start your own thing. You need to blaze your own path somehow. Hmm. And it comes back down to the signal idea. Mm-hmm. So how are you feeling? Like launch day, uh, you had your book launch last night with your family and all of those folks. How's, how's it sort of feel today? Proud. I'd say proud. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At the end of it, I was, I was always uneasy going through it, like just yeah. un- and not sure how I felt about it. And then now that I've, I've seen it, I've done work with it now. I've talked about it. I've done like that. Now, like, like the first panel, it felt great. And just seeing people's reactions, opening conversations with it. I'm just like, this is awesome to be able to use to just really anyone can come up to me and be like, hey, congratulations, what's it about? Oh, that's that's interesting. I actually do something like this and mm-hmm. we talk about it. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that's just really cool. I love those conversations. Mm-hmm. In some ways, you felt this like uneasiness of the college experience you were having, like kind of like not answering the like, what should I be doing thing? And like, yeah. You're doing all the normal things, right? You're involved in entrepreneurship. You're in a yeah. business fraternity. You're doing all these things, and yet totally. you sort of didn't have an answer. So tell me about that mindset, sort of like last summer, and how you were feeling before this whole thing started. Yeah, so I think it even starts before last summer. Mm-hmm. So coming in freshman year, I was like, "All right, I'm gonna hack college. I'm gonna do all the clubs. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna do an entrepreneurship club. I'm gonna get like involved with all the things I'm passionate about." So I tried to mix all of those in, so like. A one club that was entrepreneurship with graphic design and stuff. So I did it and we worked with a bunch of teams. I really liked that. But just the content of it wasn't that inspiring. I wasn't like, oh, this is great. So I want to do like didn't inspire me to do that. And so summer came around and I was like, hmm, I'm going to do stuff that I really like. Mm -hmm. So I kept doing my tutoring business, uh, ended up working like greens at a at a country club. And just because like I was like, I like cutting lawns. Like that's what I did when I was when I was little, like. I know I'm good at that. Yeah. So like, and it's like, I'll, it'll get me up at 5 a.m. I'll have a full day. And then I met all these great guys working there. So I was like, all right, again, I'm just drawn to the people. So I've been like talking to people like, yeah, like we should just, we should start something. Hmm. Not, not even like a club, but just like something that like gets people together. Hmm. And that's what I want. It's like, because that's what I found I'm attracted to is like good, like awesome groups of people. Yeah. So I think that's like one of the biggest learning experiences that came out of this book. Hmm. As well, like moving forward, just my mindset towards what I want to do. You know, as part of this whole experience, we started to research like what made people stand out, right? And we looked at all the, the sort of Forbes 30 under 30. And what was interesting is, you know, we found that they sort of, they weren't necessarily starting companies uh-huh. uh, first. A lot of them did, but they all started something. They created something first. So, you know, to create their signal, they would, you know, launch a book, a podcast series. But one of the ones that you touched on was they basically started communities or events, you know, mm-hmm. communities around an event series. Yeah. And so one idea that I have for you that I've been thinking about a little bit as like that something you could do is you've tapped into this new world that doesn't squarely fit under any existing club or organization or things, right? Like right. mission company, the mission company, there's sort of this social entrepreneurship thing, but I think it kind of misses the boat a little bit because it's just yeah. about like starting things. Whereas right. I think yours is that like, how do you work at companies that you care about, like the Warby Parker, the Toms and, and all those sorts of things. So one thing that you should consider anyways is like, is there a way for you to start start an organization it started at michigan but ultimately think about is there a way for you to be the person who starts this and ultimately helps other colleges do it yeah because i think that if because i think that for you you know you're still you're early right and you're college you're still i mean because you're just a sophomore sophomore right now so you're going to be a junior and so if you think about this imagine if you spend your first semester just getting the social venture or social you know sort of the mission the mission mission business club Mm -hmm. set up, right? Which is like, that's what you do. You bring in speakers from these sorts of businesses, Zingerman's, all that sort of stuff, right? And then the next step is you go out and you find 10 people at other schools. Like Mm -hmm. we find someone at Georgetown, you find someone like that. And part of this is your approach on LinkedIn or whatever it is, is to send people a copy of your book. Listen, I'm starting this thing because I believe that there's a lot of people who want to work in these types of companies. So we have this event series where we bring in mission-driven people or yep. for businesses to talk. That's what your whole thing yep. is. And use that as your platform to build on this, the book and all yep. these sorts of things. But imagine if two years from now, right, we get back together and you've created a nationwide network of 
20 or 30 or 50 schools that all have these groups. And again, it's all on driven sort of about just bringing in once a month a mission driven business owner to talk about their business. And for them, they get to talk about what they do, why they love it. For students, they get to find people in it. So I've been thinking yeah. a lot about like yeah. how you could leverage this next thing. And I think because you're, it's great that you came up with this, like, but I think because you've got this, like, you've tapped into this nerve of there really isn't, you know, there really isn't one who sort of understands this stuff. And your sort of, your sort of philosophy and principles, you could, you know, right. everyone who organizes this one, let me send you a copy of the book and I'll talk about how we're organized. We'll open source our playbook. Yeah. yeah I think right, there's something absolutely. to it. Yeah. And then it just can you build the research behind it, mm -hmm. the idea behind it, the idea spreads and then there you yep. go. And you could even, if you think about this, right, like yeah. we talked about this all along, like a year from now, you should be launching the next, the 20, yeah. 2019 oh, yeah. version of this book. Oh, yeah. And so it's not, it, it's work, but it's just, it's work that no, yeah, goes no, to you. And imagine yeah. if you use this next year as a way to talk about, like the next section is like how you spread this piece, yeah. how you get employed at these pieces, and you interview more people who come to campus for you. So like, oh. You're gonna come to a session. I'm gonna interview you, like just to capture that sort of stuff. I'm gonna, you know, we can put that up and you can use that interview in your next book. Yeah. How did this sort of fit into the life of being a sophomore? Like, how did you, you know, because again, you're doing it as like an independent study, not doing it for credit. Right. Like, how does right. how did you fit it into your life in a way that like sort of made sense? It really became me trying to get out opinions of other people and ideas without telling them again like what it was and mm -hmm. so everything and also all the news i was reading or like in classes like i took this really interesting architecture class it was architecture and sustainability hmm. and it was interesting we watched a couple like ted talks about like cities and stuff and even the the, the changing dynamic of cities mm -hmm. um was relating back to stuff that i had been reading about and i was yeah. like this is everywhere and i'm yeah. like so it really just kind of manifested itself in a lot of different areas of of college life with an interaction with people and just um, I don't it just really changed the way I thought mm -hmm. which is cool